Welcome to the weekend, everybody. And now Washington starting group. Hachimura and Bryant are in the middle. Russell Westbrook out there with Bradley Beal. And it's Avdia in at the three, the small forward. And for Miami, Adebayo is out there with Trevor Ariza. And there's Jimmy Butler. Then it's Robinson. And it's Oladipo in at the one. And so off the tip, it's Washington's ball. And here is Beal. He dishes it to Westbrook. Tries it from 19. Washington gets it back and a new 14. It's another look. Ariza with the rebound. Well, that's a blown defensive coverage, but it doesn't matter. He cannot answer the bell. Oladipo, the pass to Autobahn. Nice D from Bryant. Boy, nine times out of ten, that's going in. I'm sure he surprised himself with the miss. And what Bryant has been showing more and more of is the ability to read the floor and make good decisions. Right, Greg. This is a very smart guy who dominated in high school and college just because of his size. He overwhelmed opponents. Now we're seeing him pass out of double teams. Shot selection is better. Timing and pick and roll is now superb. This guy has really grown. And it's Butler missing. For Washington, they've gone just one or four to get this game started. Over in the corner, Avdia. No good with the triple. Clock management, this is where they can get a two for one. And Kevin, every opportunity counts. Pass to a reason. Outside Butler. Clock at six. Rebound by the Wizards. Bryant's got four rebounds in this game. Tries from 16, and it's in off the backboard. How about the balance? Beal stopping on a dime. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Here's Oladipo. A three. And that's out of bounds. Miami will retain possession. There's Trogic with the three, and he got that one up in time, but doesn't go in. And we've reached the end of the first quarter. Washington out in front, up by four. Back after this from the American Airlines Arena. And for those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen from the Wizards, guys. Guys, I love their defense in that first period. They were in position and just challenging shots. Well, I think they combined great intelligence with great effort, and you can see the results. So the Wizards five right now. They've got Bradley Beal. He's out there with Davis Berton. And it's Smith in at the guard position. The importance of the three-point shot never greater than right now, and in your eyes, there are some players who are just absolutely dead, solid, perfect from distance. No doubt about it. And, and you know, there's three guys to me, though, that kind of separate themselves. Uh, and it's one because you have to honor their ability equally off the dribble from three and at attacking the paint. Steph Curry, James Harden, and Damian Lillard. Those three guys can all hit pull-ups and step backs from range off the dribble. Uh, they all got great vision, you know, so they can take advantage of defenses that get caught loading a little too much. And then they also are terrific at the, in the paint at getting to the free throw line. So those are the three guys I think that create the most havoc uh, when you start, start talking about having to guard the three-point line. And so he hits both. The Wizards with the lead. 1-11 left in the second quarter. Bertans kicks to Smith. Shot clock at six. 
And there's the pass to Neto. There's Beal with the three. Bucket number three. He's a perfect three for three to start. Well, this is what you love about Bradley Beal. He doesn't have to dominate the basketball. Just get him a shot in the flow of the offense. Hero passes to Dragic. They get it again. Deadman. Banked in off the glass. And the D getting out work there on the putback. Can't let that happen. You have got to put a body on somebody. We talk about it ad nauseum, but you've got to be disciplined with the box outs. And the Wizards with possession, following the score by Miami. Here's Neto, defended by Butler. There's Beal with the three, and again, Washington with the triple. Well, Bradley Beal entered the league with big time range, but he has continued to extend it out. Butler against Beal. Now Butler. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. On the wing, it's Igudala. Over Bertan. Here's Hero. Snatched away. And so it's the Washington Wizards with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. A look at the field goal percentage numbers. All right, Dave, thank you. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter's The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Good to see you back here on our... A pretty close game for the Wizards throughout the first quarter. They had a four-point advantage at the end of the period. <laughs> and that'll do it for our halftime report. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. Bradley Beal having a dominant impact in this game. And, and you know he's going to put up points every time out, but, boy, he made it look so easy in that first half. Now let's see if he continues that trend the rest of the way. He certainly has the talent and the endurance to do just that. They've got Trevor Ariza. Robinson is out there with Victor Oladipo. And there's Jimmy Butler. And it's Autobio in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. That's the group on the floor for Miami. Washington leading now by six. Avdia kicks to Westbrook. Outside, Beal. Off target from three-point range. And so it's Butler with it. He'll bring it up for the Miami Heat. Robinson passes to Butler. Now Oladipo. He's covered by Beal. Ariza, right side. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Denny Avdia picks one up. I know Trevor Ariza has been a bit of a journeyman, but he is also a proven champion. On the defensive end, you know he's going to take pride in locking down his man. Kendrick Nunn, he's checked in for Butler. Ariza hits them both. 115 left here in the third quarter. Odipo against Westbrook. Outside for Beal. Here's Bryant. And it's Miami with the rebound. Well, an 0-3 start to the half. You need to pick it up and start to put some pressure on your opponent. Maybe he's not one of the elite sharpshooters, but even still, that's not a shot the D can afford to give him. It's Beal on the wing. Hearted by Oladipo. The drive by Beal. The shot's good. Beal's got 12. You can see it. Once this guy gets his rhythm, he is so hard to slow down. What an excellent night for him and his team. Oladipo outside. Right around a minute and a half, played here in the third quarter. And he gets it to go. Nunn's got his first points of the night. This guy can do so much for you on the offensive end, and that is why his number gets called time and time again. Westbrook against Nunn. Westbrook kicks to Beal. And the wide open shot from Avdia. Good, it's Beal picking up the assist. This is the area of greatest improvement in Mr. Bradley Beal's game. How about the growth in his passing? Wow. 
Here's the three. No good. And we've reached the end of the third. Wizards lead by four. And we're coming right back. Be sure to stay with us as we get started for the fourth quarter. Here now a chance to show you our assist of the game. And it's presented as always by State Farm. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. And when you're the beneficiary of a pass that good, you better deliver. And he did just that. And I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. Fourth quarter on the court for the Wizards. In and forward, it's Hachimura and Bertans. Russell Westbrook out there with Bradley Beal. And it's Lopez in at the five. And the shot goes in. You know, how about the big fella making the right play there to create that bucket? Butler deciding where to go with it. 129 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Washington leading now by six. Westbrook with it. And the dunk by Westbrook. Well, this guy is so special. On the attack on the interior, this guy is seeking contact. He doesn't want to avoid it. Outside Butler. Over Hachimura. Butler, no good. Normally he'll drill that shot, and I'm, I'm sure they'll look to find him in that spot again. Uh, no doubt. Very good play call, good execution. Sometimes it just doesn't fall. Dragic against Westbrook. Over Dragic. And it's Westbrook missing. And here are the Heat. Eight point game. Dragic dishes to Butler. With the fadeaway. Butler can't get that one to fall. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. He is trying to shoot his way out of it. And it might be better for him to pass the basketball at this point. Five-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Lopez passes to Hachimura. Just five to shoot. Washington needs to get a shot off here. Lopez, no luck. And so it's the Wizards with the win. A solid win on the road for them. This building was dead silent by the time GA this one wound down. And that's what you want to do. Take the crowd out of it by crunch time. Don't give them 